Not really, no. Well, but some of them probably could, but in the old days, you've only got to look about the professionals. Georgie Best in the mud. I mean, let's be fair, if he was playing now in these sort of conditions they've got now, the flat pitches, he'd be untouchable, wouldn't he? And, and at our level, no, because uh, we played in inches of mud. I mean, you, it was snowing. You, you walk through the snow and, um, and pass the ball about. No, it was, it was more difficult in those days. So I've worked with loads, haven't I? I mean, professionally, well, Alan Munnery gave me the job at Brighton, so obviously I, I respect him. Um, John Shepherd, who obviously took me to Brighton with him to do the youth team, I respect him. The modern day, this bloke here, I've got to say, I suppose, I'm glad he's not here, Adam. Adam, I think he's going to be a top manager, he's got everything going for him. And Cam, good coach, uh, well, and Aaron, the three of them are really tremendous together. And um, I've learned from them and I'm still learning. So, no, it's good, that good. Gary Stevens, um, still in contact with him. He lives in Thailand now. He came over and had breakfast with me about two months ago. Um, yeah, he, he was good. He, he came from Ipswich. He had a trial for, for us. We recommend him to Alan Mullery. Um, and then he went to Tottenham, England and everything. So yeah, and I'm still in contact with him. Another one, I suppose, um, John Robinson, who was here the other day. John was 14 years old when I coached him at Brighton. He went on to play at Chelton and Wells, I believe. And he's done well for himself now. I think he's coaching in uh, America, academies. So yeah, those two. There's probably a few more, but I can't really offhand. Oh, ability. Um, oh, you, went back, you can go back a long way, can't you? I mean, modern day, you've got to stay. To be fair, I can't say I coached him, but I was, I was here, you know what I mean? I mean, Omar obviously stands out. Well, Omar, um, uh, recently, because obviously he's got so much ability, I think he's, he's an international now as well, or he goes with the international team, and he's at Bromley. Will Endon, um, Will, well, I think he's doing tremendously well now. I think he's in Australia. He was, he was a good fullback. Lloyd Dawes, Dawes, well, eccentric, is that the word you can use him? But he could play. Um, I think there's still a lot more to come from him if he steadied himself down and took things more seriously. But he's a great character in the dressing room. <laughs> good question. Um, when we played, I'll be honest with you now, um, I can remember well, we used to get there about half hour before the kickoff. Half of them were smoking. Um, ten minutes before kickoff, they decided to get changed. Five minutes before the kickoff, they walked out and then they, they played the game. And even I can tell you one character, Phil Cunningham, when I was, he was a Shaw manager, uh, he used to come to the dressing but half hour before the uh, kickoff, smoking a cigar. Um, so that's how things have changed, basically. But uh, having said that, there were some good players around in those days. Hell, I saw Alfie, he came down, he's still having treatment, but he hopes to be back, he said to me, in about two weeks. Um, Rating was a player, I think he's, he's a good player. He's, he's very steady, loses the ball well, talks well. Um, he's really missed in the team at this moment in time. Well, Ian Chapman's got to be one of the best I've worked with. It's difficult to say who was the best, but he's definitely one of the best because um, I had him when he was 14 at Brighton and he worked himself through. He played for Brighton for a few years, went on to coach at Burgess Hill and Whitehawk. So uh, I suppose Ian really is one of the best left backs I've seen. To be fair, there's been, there's been quite a few, so I've been here a few years now. Um, he's putting me on a spot here, isn't he? There's been so many over the years that it would be very difficult to pick out three standouts um, because, let's say, over the years, um, Worthen have had some really good players here, under Alan Pook, under Chris Wyatt, 
under Adam, under Gary Elphick, there were some really good good players. So it's really difficult to pick out three. And I wouldn't want to I'd sort of say three players. Ah. Uh, um, money, <laughs> technology are the most important. I mean, uh, money obviously, in my day, there was no money. Uh, and there was no technology, no uh, mobiles, no um, tap, um, laptops. Um, but don't get me wrong, I think the modern game now with the laptops, with the mobiles, I think it's brilliant. I think you can sit a player down, you can um, stop the uh, video and say, look, you should have been here and there. And I think they learn a heck of a lot more now than they would have done in the old days. That's a difficult question. I suppose really um, the one that sticks out was when Worthen went to Dagenham as real underdogs and we came away beating them, I think it was 2-0 or 2-1. Um, that was a really good result, a good day out and unexpected. So I suppose that is, I wouldn't say it was me craziest, but one of the best days, you know what I mean? enjoyed everything I mean um, no I've, I've, I've been so so lucky I mean there's not many people who say they was on the in a dugout for a cup final can they Manchester United and that so you know I've been I've been so so lucky in football I've got no regrets whatsoever I've been very very lucky